The measurement of the vesicle is not only depending on the method you use, but also on the pre-analytical parameters. These pre-analytical parameters are such as collection and transport, centrifugation steps, and freezing and storage. In this film, we're going to show how we're going to collect the blood, to isolate the plasma, and also to freeze and store the plasma. For the collection, we're going to use a citrate. And for the needle, we're going to use the needle with the diameter of 21G. And the application of the tourniquet is only for locating the vein. The skin is disaffected, the vein is located, and the needle is going to be inserted. The first tube of blood will be collected. The tourniquet is released and the first tube of blood will be discarded, will be used for collection of the plasma. The anticoagulant is mixed with the blood for at least five times. Please remember that the blood collection should be done on fasted individuals. After the blood was collected, we have to go directly to the next step, which is the centrifugation step. We set up the centrifugation speed at 1560G, 20 minutes, without a break, and temperature at 20 degrees. When we finish with the centrifugation step, then you will have the blood, which is already separated in several phases. So the lower part contain the red blood cells. Here you have the buffy coat. And the upper part, this is your plasma. So carefully insert the pipettes into the plasma and then take out the plasma. So then you leave about 700 microliter plasma on top of the blood. So you have to carefully pipe it out this plasma and then put it in aliquots of about 250 microliter. We have now the aliquots of about 250 microliter. The samples will be snap frozen in liquid nitrogen for about 15 minutes. And then afterwards, these aliquots will be stored in minus 80 freezer. In this freezer, we store our sample until we need it for further analysis.